In the previous step, I showed you how to configure a tilt sensor and determine its location. And in this step, we'll show how to calibrate that tilt sensor. So I go to the home icon, go to hardware setup, connections, and I'll connect that CAN sensors to turn on the connection to that tilt sensor. Hit accept. Now I go to sensor calibration. And now it's asking me to do my calibration for my pitch and roll. Now if we look at this photo showing the different positive and negative pitch and roll symbols, we can see that if the top of the mass is leaning back towards the back of the machine, that's a negative pitch. If it's leaning towards the front, that's a positive pitch. If it's leaning to the left from the top, that's a negative roll. And if the top of the mass is leaning to the right, that's a positive roll. So understanding that, We'll go back to this calibration screen, and I will lean the mass forward in the pitch access only. When doing this, I'll try to make sure that I have about a zero, zero degrees in the roll axis so that I don't mix up the two while I'm doing my calibration. So I will lean my mass forward. In the field, you'll want to put a digital level on this, or smart level, so that you can get uh, a true reading. We'll say that this is actually 10 degrees. My sensor says it's reading a little more than 10 degrees. And you'll see how the offsets work as I answer them. So just imagine that I've got my mass leaning forward truly 10 degrees. This is what my sensor's reading. So I'll enter that 10 degrees is what my digital level said. Hit accept. Hit the unlock here. You'll see when I hit that unlock that this value starts to move. So this is taking my input with the sensor raw values and adding an offset. As soon as I click that padlock again, it's going to lock that offset. And the calibration for the pitch axis is finished. Now I'll move my mast back to zero in both axes, roughly zero. And then I will tilt my mast in the roll axis to positive 10 degrees. It doesn't have to be exactly 10 as long as you have the digital level and you input exactly what you see on that digital level. So even though it says 11.7, we'll use a little bit bigger number here. I'll still say this was actually 10.2 degrees, just to add a little bit of difference in there. 10.2. Hit accept. Hit the unlock. And now you can see the offset it's adding is a, about a 1.5 degrees. So I'll click lock on that. Make sure both of these values are locked before you hit accept. Hit accept. And that calibration is stored.